In this video, we're going to talk about acid strength and how it relates to Ka and pKa. So here's a question for you. Let's say if we have two acids, acetic acid and formic acid. Now let's say you're given a pKa of each of these two acids. The pKa for acetic acid is 4.76 and the pKa of formic acid is 3.75. So which of these two acids is the stronger acid? Is it the one on the left or the one on the right? So what you need to know is that acid strength and pKa are inversely related. In fact, as the pKa decreases, the acid strength increases. So the stronger acid is the one that has the lower pKa value. Now 3.75 is lower than 4.76. So what this tells us is that formic acid is a stronger acid than acetic acid. Now let's look at another example. So here we have ethanol and on the right, methanol. So which one is the stronger acid? Ethanol has a pKa value of 15.9, and methanol has a pKa value of 15.5. So they're very close in terms of acidity, but one is slightly more acidic than the other. So which one is that? So as we said before, the molecule with a lower pKa value is the one that's going to act as a stronger acid. So 15.5 is less than 15.9. So therefore, methanol is slightly more acidic than ethanol. And so this is the answer. Now what if you're given the Ka instead of the pKa? Is the situation the same, or is it going to be different this time? So let's say if we're given the Ka of HF, also known as hydrofluoric acid, and the Ka is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 4. The Ka stands for the acid dissociation constant. For H2S, hydrosulfuric acid, the acid dissociation constant is 1 times 10 to the minus 7. So which one is the stronger acid? Is it HF or is it H2S? Now we saw that there was an inverse relationship between the pKa and the acid strength. We said that as the pKa decreases in value, the acid strength, which I'm going to write AS, increases in value. Now what about the relationship between Ka and acid strength? It turns out that there is a direct relationship. As the Ka value increases, the acid strength increases. Ka and pKa, they're inversely related. So the stronger acid is the one that has the higher Ka value. So which number is higher? 10 to the negative 4 or 10 to the minus 7? 10 to the negative 4 is greater than 10 to the negative 7. So therefore, HF is the stronger acid. Now let's look at one more example. So let's compare NH4+, also known as ammonium, and CH3, NH3+. So the Ka value for NH4+, that's going to be 4 times 10 to negative 10. And for the methyl ammonium ion, it's 2 times 10 to the minus 11. So identify the stronger acid. 10 to the negative 10 is greater than 10 to the minus 11. So therefore, NH4 plus has to be the stronger acid since it has the higher Ka value. And so that's it. That's how you can quickly determine if an acid is stronger or not. So just remember, acid strength increases 
as the pKa decreases or as the Ka increases. And here are two equations that you may need to know. pKa is equal to the negative log of the Ka value. And if you need to find Ka from pKa, the Ka is 10 raised to the negative pKa. You might find those equations useful, I don't know, but here it is in case you needed them. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.